Hello everybody, it's me Alexis Mateo and me Nikki Dahl and this is a brand new episode of Fashion Photo Review Drag Race España Olé Hello Nikki, how are you? I don't know about you, but I, I took some lessons, history lessons about Spain I know how to say Ugaseo now, I think I'm ready for <laughs> They are teaching us. Today we are reviewing uh, the runway of episode five and there is only six queens remaining for the crown. It's getting tight, honey. It's getting tight. Do you know what the theme of the runway is for today? No, do you know what the theme is? I completely forgot. Same. <laughs> <laughs> La categoría es arte español Eleganza extravaganza. It's Spanish art, right? Is that what it is? Yes, it's Spanish art. You're right. Speaking about arts, I see you painting, baby girl. <laughs> Nikki! Girl, my landlord got my whole schedule. Okay, we, let's do it. Let's... <laughs> Y'all, you want some tea? My landlord yeah. just arrived without letting me know. I was half baked. I opened like an egg to the door and he was kind of like, am I at the right apartment? And I said, yeah, get to the point. I have a show to do. I was not late today like you because I don't have a landlord. I own my own house. <gasps> Bitch, if you were living in New York, you would have a landlord. <laughs> Trust and believe. <laughs> Today's runway theme is a Spain arts, baby. I feel like there is a lot of girls that are gonna teach us a lot of things tonight. Yes, and art is subjective. So, hey, we're gonna learn a lot about those girls by just looking at these looks. Which is kind of like the theme that I like. I like, I like, I like broad themes. Makes your imagination fly away on this one. Let them go, baby. First up, Miss Dovima Nermi. Opulent. She hangs everything. So she's a painting. She's not a curtain. <laughs> no, she's a painting. <laughs> Looking gorgeous. She looks like an amazing paint. Her face completely looks like porcelain doll, baby. She's giving me too much Renaissance reference right here. Colors are gorgeous. I love that her legs are showing. And I love how big it looks like in the bottom. It looks like a cape. And I love how it flies away when she walks around. This is something out of the, the blue because I, I would have never thought about framing my shoulders like with this painting photo frame around my shoulders to create some kind of cape on this one. I would even say it's out of the blue and yellow. Out of the blue and yellow, baby. <laughs> She's learning English, y'all. She's making puns. <laughs> I am very impressed by the the idea of how she positioned it on her on her body. She managed to make this a beautiful dress because the way it falls on her legs, like you were saying, the way it moves when she twirls, and how it adds that very 80s shoulders is truly genius. There's a lot of Renaissance inspiration there. I even love the hair. There's everything here. I love it. Only thing I'm missing from her is her beautiful silhouette because I feel like it's literally like a cover up and something is missing underneath. I thought she was gonna open it at a certain point and reveal a beautiful dress or something like that, but it didn't happen. So kind of like I'm missing that part. But you know what? The fact that the, the selection of the fabric, the fact that it's so flowy when she twirls, it kind of like it creates a, a, a shape shape for me so I kind of like I'm okay with the fact that she's not revealing anything if it would have been a stiffer fabric that wouldn't move as well it would have looked boxy but this is so light and, and flowy that it actually works yeah the fact that she's showing her legs is a plus because I can see her shoulders I can see her hands I can see her legs it works it's a toot for me that's a big toot for me Miss Dovima okay next stop is poopy <laughs> just poopy <laughs> Just for me. She's giving me very like, almost like the Christopher Columbus era. The, the opulent woman that would go at the court. She's very fancy. She is a little playful. Nothing about this look is working for me. I feel like the hair is, doesn't go with the Renaissance theme that she's going for. I feel like the waist is too high and it's not well put together either. I think this is something that we saw with Poopy Poisson. Uh, the construction of all the looks is not always the most impeccable, but she managed to always make me laugh. And I think that she really channeled whoever she's trying to portray on the show. So it works. First of all, the fabrics for me kind of looks cheap and it kind of gives me a very costume idea. I feel like this is a miss 
opportunity to show me real art. Really, I just looking at some costume from an era and that's not giving me art. Art is something, it's a unique piece and this is not giving me a unique piece. Well, that is a unique piece. Oh no, I can buy this on, on any costume shop online and it will look like that. Is it the most beautiful constructed outfit? Absolutely not. Uh, did I enjoy the presentation and do I understand where she's from? Yes. This blue petticoat reveal, I didn't get it. I mean, I was waiting to be surprised with something really fierce, like a nice panty or something more fashion than this little pantaletas. <laughs> you know what she should have done? I think the look would have looked better if she would have used way more yards of the skirt fabric yep. and really draped it. So then you have a more opulent skirt and then the whole thing would have actually look better because the top is not terrible. I really love the undergarment that she's wearing um, and it would, it would have worked, but now it kind of looks like it's a curtain around a miscolored petticoat. You know that a queen is talented whenever she's campy, that she can sell you something that you know for a fact doesn't work fashion-wise, but you're still willing to buy it because you know that she's going to, it's her brand. Oh shit. And that to me seems like it's Poopy's brand. I don't know if she sold it to me because I am buying it, girl. <laughs> but I do not like that wig, Poopy. I am sorry. It's a boot for me, B-U-T-T. -T. <laughs> That's a butt, bitch. That's a butt, <laughs> and you're sitting on it. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a two. Oh, you've been so generous today. You are Miss Congeniality. This is just the beginning of the show, baby girl. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next, Miss Killer Queen. It's a reference from a painter, and he used a lot of details and things, but like clocks and things like that. This is a piece of art, baby. Let me tell you, it's super creative. I am in love with how crazy this looks. This looks amazing. I love from the mustache, matching the hair, from the top hat being clocks, the skirt from the one side, the drawers showing to one leg, all the way to the chest. I mean, this was perfection and it was all the way down to her heels, baby. So I am a huge fan of Salvador Dali. As soon as she stepped out and I started to see the drawers on her leg, I literally vocally gasped because it's, it's, it's so incredible. I've been trying to recreate this look in a, in a very artsy way and fashion way, and she just showed it to me. It's mixing everything that I love. Surrealism, it has a little bit of Tim Burton to it as well. It's giving me like very Mad Hatter slash Salvador Dali, but it has a pop art to it because of the yellow. It's honestly impeccable. And I know that you guys have been saying that I've been very generous with the shoots. I don't think I'm generous. I think Drag Race España is giving it to us and they shall be that fierce. gifted yes. with it. So this is another shoot for me. This is yes. impeccable. It's a shoot for me too, babe. Wow, Killer Queen, great job. Next up, Uga Seo Crujiente. <laughs> she said it right, y'all, she said it right. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, so I think that there's one thing with Uga Seo is that she really, really understands colors. I love how she mixes really bright uh, colors that you wouldn't see together right away. Naturally, I think this green with like this pink is not something that you would think of but she, she knows how to do it. It's giving me very Charles de Villemorin, which is like a, um, a French designer that also plays a lot with colors. What I like about Ugaseo is the way that he plays with the gender. It's kind of like, he's on purpose to with your head, you know? Ugaseo is one of the example that shows you that you don't have to be only a drag queen to perform. I don't see Ugaseo as a drag queen. I, I see Ugaseo as drag. He could be a drag king, a drag queen, a club kid, and it works on the stage and he's able to compete as much as any of the others. And I love the way that he incorporates so much paint too. So a lot of his work is a lot of paint. You can see like on this one, his hair is painted, his face is painted, They're like um, everything is painted and it's, it's very pretty. What I love about it too is that it looks like if I'm gonna open a storybook and this character will pop out, out of it. It's, it's whimsical, it's fun. You can tell it has details of a Renaissance costume as well, but also a very childhood place where dreams come true. That's what I like about it. It is not one of my favorite looks from Ugaseo. 
because I have seen some creative stuff walking in, but this is still a consistent look. And what I really, really love about it is how small his uh, waist looks when he, uh, inside that frame. Like when you go inside that frame, you see how small the silhouette is and how the pants go out in a big time. It's like, that's just perfection to me. I'm not that surprised because she is one of these queens that brings it to you every ball to the point that if she's doing any less than what she did last week, you're disappointed. And I'm not disappointed. She is killing it. For me, this look is a two. That's a two. Up next, Miss Sagittaria, who is also serving us some Salvador Dali realness. This is a very, very famous painting of uh, Mr. Salvador Dali, of that, what, the one that I like to call the flower woman. This is my favorite painting of Salvador Dali, so I'm gonna be a little critical about it. As much as I understand the reference, I do have to say that it looks a little simple for me. I love the accent of the hand's jewelry, which is supposed to be the belt, and the hands holding together as a bracelet, so I, I appreciate that. I do not like the skirt. I think it looks a little simple. I'm glad you call it the skirt, because baby, what I saw was just a piece of fabric hanging from some kind of glove in her waist. The flower crown, though, is impeccable. I really love the velvet bodysuit. She really knows how to present an outfit. Her walk and her poetry and her move is always so graceful. I like it, but I've seen better from Sagittaria. This is a little plain for me. I love that she knows she has a great body. That has been said, this was another letdown for me because it is an art challenge on this runway and this is a beautiful headpiece. Other than that, that's it. Um, this is very simple. And I normally I love simplicity on her because I think she's that stunning. It's just very simple. It's just a leotard with some kind of fabric in the side. That shoe also has nothing to do with this. This is a stripper shoe going with a Salvador Dali tribute. So it, it doesn't work for me and uh, it's a boot, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna boot it too. Up next, Miss Carmen Ferrala. She represented Mr. Joan Miro, which is a very fa famous Spanish painter. The way she presented it with the paint falling down her skirt is very reminiscent of Alexander McQueen fashion show where there were two robots splashing paint around the model. This is the most impeccable presentation I've seen on Drag Race España so far. When it comes to the theme, this was the best way she could have done it. I'm not a big fan of the top part of the outfit, but this was a very, very close one. This was really, truly amazing. I love how feminine she looks on the runway. She's one of those girls that is just stunningly beautiful. The silhouette is gorgeous. She, Carmen, turns to be the ready-to-wear kind of girl, but this looks like a runway presentation, and it's done beautiful to her. I thought she was pregnant for a second and her water broke. I said, <laughs> she's gonna have a baby on stage, but no, it was paint, and I got it clear. So it was really cute. I love her shoe, I love the modeling. I am a big fan of it. This was a great presentation. And those calves, girl, you have stunning calves. The hair is impeccable. I mean, she looks stunning from head to toe. And I understood her message quickly. And this is a toot for me. It's a beautiful toot for me too. Good job. Trend alert. alert! Dali. Salvador Dali. Salvador, Salvador <laughs> Dali, melting clocks, surrealism, piece of art, passion, <laughs> toes. <laughs> I knew you were going to say toes. I wasn't on the runway, baby, but toes. <laughs> oh my God. Our, Our top, top two of the week is. is Killer Queen! Yes, Killer Queen, you kill it, baby girl! This was an incredible rendition to Salvador Dali. You should be very proud of yourself, and I'm very jealous to not have done it before you. Great job, girl. And if this was a movie, I would have been buying the first ticket to go see it because it's that gorgeous and entertaining, and the presentation on the runway was killer, baby! I want to see you in Alice in Wonderland 3. <laughs> the Return of the Clock. The return of the return. The melting clock. <laughs> the melting clock. <laughs> I love it. You taught me some Spanish last time, and I finally figure out how to teach you some French. Are you ready? Even though it doesn't go with our theme, because we are watching Drag Race Spain, 
but I'm gonna allow you to teach me this one, so go. It goes with our duet, okay? <laughs> okay. So just say, je ah. suis une. A what? Je suis. Je suis une. In. Cagol. Cagol. Perfect. What is that? It just means that you are such a genuine, kind spirit. Oh my God! I can use that every day. I know. It's, I it's am so, such a sweetheart. It's so right? you. It's so you. You are such a sweetheart. I know, right? I oh, everybody loves me. So if you guys are French and understand French in the comments, please let us know how happy you are that Alexis Mathieu just finally realized that she's a cagoule. <laughs> Something is telling me that we will have several messages and comments. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, it's so good to do this with you all the time. I'm enjoying season uh, one of Drag Race Spain. I mean, these girls are super fun. And Drag Race Spain, congratulations to all the girls. You are killing it and really inspiring us. Uh, with the fashion and the fun, and, and it, it's truly a pleasure to review you every week. Catch brand new episodes of Drag Race España every Sunday at A Tres Player. And don't you worry, if you're not based in Spain, you can catch it worldwide on Wow Present Plus. Sick me now. Sick me now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Now, sit down, Wow. Hello? Uh -oh. Now sissy that wow.